Welcome, Vault Dwellers. My name is Nacho Bidness, and we are here in the White Springs Bunker to talk about the four, count them, four different vendors that are down here. And I'm doing this video in large part because a lot of the players that I talked to in game had no idea that there's actually four different vendors down here and not just two. But we're going to start with the two that everybody knows about because they provide us with a very interesting choice and conundrum. See, the first is the vendor that is back here behind the room where we get all the information on nuke codes. And this is where, for a long time, this is the only place to get X01 power armor bots. It is a random chance which mods spawn when you happen to enter a particular server. And so a lot of people will spend a lot of time server hopping trying to get the exact mods that they wanted for their X01 armor. The interesting thing about that, in my mind, is that looking on Reddit, the spawn rates on some mods in particular are so low that they might as well not even exist. Which brings us to our other option over here in production. Because very recently, Bethesda added all of the plans for X01 armor in the production vendor. However, these plans are incredibly expensive. And after all, how many times do you need to get a jetpack mod? Probably just the once, right? Most people only have a single set of X01 armor that they use and maintain, and so they probably only need one jetpack mod. And it's far cheaper to buy that jetpack mod if you get lucky and it's a random spawn rather than buying the plans in order to make your own jetpack mods. That said, it is reliable and if you don't have the time but you do have the caps to buy those plans, maybe that is the right path for you. Now the first of the two vendors that I think a lot of people don't know about is over here in the medical bay. It's the second right after you come down the stairs from the production area. And if you come back over here, tucked away, is this medical terminal. Now the cool thing about this vendor is that it has plans for a lot of drugs. It also carries a small stock of drugs as well, but the interesting thing here is the plants. Depending on your play style, some of these may be extremely valuable to you if, for example, you'd like to be using Fury a lot, or if you would like to be using Overdrive a lot. It may be worthwhile to you to actually know how to make your own instead of buying them or trying to find them in the world. For myself, Great Mentats has paid for itself over and over again because I tend to pop a Great Mentat before I do a lot of buying or, or a lot of selling and especially before I am about ready to buy a very expensive mod or plan or something. Some of these recipes do spawn in the world and you can get them through random drops but some of them, such as Great Mentats, as far as I know, this is the only place to get that plan or the plans for Fury or Orange Mentats or Overdrive. The last vendor that I think a lot of people miss by not fully exploring this bunker is over here in the Science Wing. I've lost track of the number of people who I talk to in game who have no idea that this is even available. 
Because if you come back over here and to what is probably the very deepest part of the entire bunker, we have the science terminal, which also provides us with an interesting choice between random and cheap and assured but expensive. Because we can buy mutation serums here and combined with the starch genes perk, these mutations are permanent. The nice thing about buying a serum is that you're not stuck hoping for random chance for the mutation that you're looking for or praying that you get a mutation that you don't want. For example, the talons mutation is great for melee characters, but it's a minus 50% gun accuracy. That would be crippling to my sniper character. So it's great to be able to pick the exact mutations that I would like to have, but the serums themselves are a random chance as far as which serums are available on any particular server. The other option that this vendor presents to us is that we have the option to buy the recipes for serums. They are incredibly expensive, and as you can see, I only know three of them. It used to be that these recipes would drop as part of the event to kill the Scorch Beast Queen, but recent reports say that that is no longer the case. I don't know if that's been confirmed in any f official capacity, but other players that I speak to that are high level that really go after that Scorch Beast Queen event over and over again say that the rewards have been greatly reduced and these no longer drop as part of that event. So whether or not it is worth it to buy these recipes is a discussion for a whole other video. You can see here that I have, in fact, bought three of them, and I will discuss in greater detail whether I think they're worth it or not. But that is enough for today. So I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you are not subscribed and you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe. If you didn't like, please tell me why before you hit the dislike button so that that way I can try and do better for you in the next video. Until next time, my name is Nacho Business, and I'm saying it's a great big wasteland out there. Let's go have fun 